Christmas city, wonderful city, all dressed up in snow and mistletoe. Christmas city. I said the original Miracle on 34th Street was a very good movie, but that I grew up with the remake. Rewatching it again, I realize that this is one of the few remakes that is pretty decent, but I don't think it's quite on par with the original. But at the same time, I don't think that was the goal. There are a number of changes made, some good, some annoying, but it never becomes distracting. Chris's reason for getting thrown in an insane asylum was better reasoned, and the judge declaring Chris was the real Santa was explained in a better way. In the original, he talks Dutch to a Dutch girl, but in this version, it's a deaf girl. This seems like a more realistic situation, especially for the time period, because why would someone adopt a Dutch girl and not help her to learn English, or at least, can't the parents who adopt her learn Dutch? I guess I don't know how things worked in the 40s, but today, that wouldn't happen. But it's very realistic that a deaf girl would go to Santa and be surprised to learn that the Santa knows sign language. But the thing that really annoyed me about this movie was how they made Coles look like the hero and Shoppers Express look like the bad guy. The original had Macy's and Gimbel's, even though it was product placement, act like actual companies. Both companies had their schemes and tricks and were portrayed very realistically. This movie doesn't need a bad guy, it was fine on its own. And there is some more development between Doris and Fred's relationship, but it's something that feels forced and not really needed. The original felt way more natural, you could really feel the history they had. I know I keep comparing it to the original, but it's just so hard not to because it's pretty much the same movie with very minor changes. I guess this movie's strong point is the court case. Even though the original's court case was enjoyable, I got confused at a lot of points. Mostly because certain things were not explained as well, but maybe that's just my stupidity of how the justice system works. This movie actually explains the predicament the judge is in. He wants to rule in Chris's favor, but has everything against him and has no reasoning that Chris actually is Santa. It's better than the original, which had some guy explain to the judge that he will lose voters if he doesn't vote in Chris's favor. Like, how did that line of progression even seem plausible? But this movie does stay true to what the original was trying to convey, and that's believing even without proof. There are new moments not present in the original that make this version worth watching. It doesn't become a matter of Chris lying or telling the truth, it's a test of faith. And like the original, the movie does kind of make hints that Chris is the real Santa. However, at the same time, it seems like he's just trying to prove a point. All the actors do great in their respective roles, but it does become very hard to top what the original had already brought to the table. That is except for one actor. Richard Attenborough as Chris Kringle. He is a great Santa, but I won't compare him to Edmund Gwen because they both do very different portrayals of Saint Nick. Richard Attenborough is kind and innocent, but he stands up for himself and you really start rooting for this guy, which is of course what the movie wants you to do. Except, you will kind of wish that he'd start talking about Jurassic Park, but you know, that's a geek's indulgence. If you really like the original and just want to see an updated version with new elements and different ways of putting things, then I'd say check this out. I guess it depends if you like Mara Wilson or not, <laughs> but I always thought she did fine in the role. Nowhere close to Natalie Wood's performance, but still pretty good. I'm guessing any fan of the original won't like this version any better, but if you give it a chance, I'll bet you'll find some things you'll like about it.